Hello there guys, this is Matthew the Dinosaur King here, and today I am back with another review. Now I am incredibly sorry for not doing any reviews lately, it's just I've been busy with work, of course with Prehistoric Island Season 3 coming back, I haven't really had time to do any reviews. And also because, well, I haven't really had any, any new figures, but on Friday, this came from Everything Dinosaur, which is the new to, for 2016, the Schleich. Dunkley Osteus. So, without further ado, let's get into the review. Now, Dunkley Osteus, which means Dunkel's Bone, is a genus of Arthrodia placoderm fish that lived 380 to 360 million years ago in the late Devonian period of Canada, USA, Morocco, and Europe. Now, around 10 different species are known all across the globe, with Dunkley Osteus terrelli which is, I believe, the species represented here, being the largest at 6 metres, 20 feet long, and a tonne in weight. And this was a pretty big fish, and probably the apex predator of its time. Now, when we first saw images of this figure from Schleich, I have to say, I was very impressed, because while we all know Schleich's dinosaurs and prehistoric life are occasionally in a mixed bag. There are some real gems out there, like the 2014 Pentaceratops, the 2015 Ketrosaurus and Hangera, and now the 2016 Dunkleosteus. And yeah, I, I think this is probably one of the best representations of this genus. And that's saying something, considering that, well, most of Schleich's models are Especially concerning their carnivores, but we'll, well, we'll talk about that later on. But anywho, yes, the Schleich Dunkleosteus. So let's start off with this head sculpt. I mean, just look at this gorgeous head sculpt. Look at that. Just that ferocious looking head. And it does have an articulated jaw, these huge, great big plates. So, yeah, these are plates, these are not teeth. So they would have been constantly sharpened by coming into contact with the top jaw here. So if you ever sharpen a knife or a pair of scissors and you hear that scraping sound, that is essentially what you would hear with Dunkleosteus. Yeah, you would not want to get trapped in these plates here. They will slice you in two. So yeah, inside you can see it's, it's not really that great inside the jaw, it's mainly just generic grey colour in there. It would have been nice if they had done a bit more colour in there, but it's alright. We've got the nostrils, the front of the snout there, and there's the big black eyes. And the armor plating goes around to about here along the top fin. See so it's got we've got a lot of like marks along the plates, probably from other Dunkleosteus. As we go down we get to the rest of the body. We have the the flippers front flippers and we've got the back flippers, we've got these this armor plating it goes all the way down to the bit end of the tail. We've got this top fin up here. Me got a little anal fin about there. And then we have this long sweeping tail. Now only the front part of Dunkleosis is known, just this bit of the armor. So the rest of it has been implied from related species and what we know of placoderm fish. So, and as far as it goes, it, it looks pretty much like a Dunkleosteus. I mean, the addition of this armour plating that goes along the flanks is speculative, I will say. It's not something I would have put on, but it's interesting. It adds to the armour-plated placoderm factor. Uh, it's got a bit of a nice colour scheme. So it's got this like red top with a red varnish with like bits of yellow going to grey on the underneath. And then the the armour plating is like a silver, silvery colour. The colour scheme is quite nice. Uh, it's not too vibrant, which is something we've come to expect from Schleich, but this is actually quite a nice change of pace. I thought I would compare it with Safari's version. As you can see, Safari's version is a little bit smaller and there are a few notable differences in the way the sculpt is done. They are pretty similar, but Schleich's... Oh, I, I know everyone is probably going to have their own opinion, 
But I have to say, out of the two, I prefer the Schleich. Something I never thought I would ever say. But I have to say, out of the two, I do prefer the Schleich's version. I'm not saying that I don't hate the Safari version. I don't hate it. I think it's another fantastic piece. But it's just something about the Schleich version that seems really quite more interesting. But I still think that the Safari one is a great piece. It's just, well, I know, it's just, I do quite, especially with the movable jaw, which I think is a really nice touch. The level of detail that's gone into these little scales as well, the armor plating, everything. I think it's a really well done piece. And definitely, if you're picking up a Schleich figure for this year, Dunkleosteus Torelli. Add that to your wish list. So yes, I do apologise once again for not posting any reviews. I just haven't had really any any new figures lately until this came along. I am still waiting for the rest of Collector. So when Wave 2 comes on, the Dinochirus, the Lythranax, the Androsarchus, the Thalas Thalasomedon, uh, Thylacine, and Struthia Minus, I will be picking those up. And just to let you guys um, know, um, if you know someone called Camosaurus, who does the Bionicle Saurus's revival series of Dinosaur Island, um, I'll just let you know that he is working on a Transformers project at the moment, as you've seen, Transformers Multiverse, which he's released some of the trailers for. And I will be providing voices for some of the characters in the show. I will be voicing Autobots, Optimus Prime, Ratchet, Ironhide, Drift, and Sideswipe as well as Decepticons, Megatron, Starscream, Shockwave, and Bonecrusher. Uh, I am super excited to be working on this project, because uh, I, I love Transformers as well as dinosaurs, and I just cannot wait to show you guys what me and Cameron can do. So, uh, look out for that uh, coming soon to his channel. And Cameron, if you're watching, uh, I cannot wait to get started, buddy. This is going to be awesome. So, um, I hope you like this review of the Schleich 2016 Dunkleosteus. Definitely one of Schleich's better figures of the year. And to all of you out there, no, I do not hate the Safari one. The Safari one is just as good. It's just, well, the Schleich one, I think, is a little, little bit better. So, please like, comment, subscribe about the good stuff. And I should hopefully see you in the next video. So, please take care. And have a great day. Bye.